What's up, guys? You boy Jasper Kid here, and uh, I am doing Fight Night Champ Championship Mode walkthrough. Uh, this is gonna be on Fight Fight Night Champion. Uh, it's gonna be on Pro difficulty, so no third time. Of course there, huh? It's okay. It's okay. It happens. it happens. This is boxing, after all. This is boxing. It doesn't matter that you got knocked down. You can get him back in the next round. You did the right thing, though. You took your time and you got back up. My father would be proud of you. That's what champions do, Andre. They get back up. All right. Uh, this is going to be a uh, fight night champions walk uh, walkthrough. So basically, how to fight. And uh, the majority of the time, I'm going to be. Uh, Knowing what I'm talking about, because I've played through the game twice, external twice, right before I got start to the real walkthrough, so I can at least sound educated. Okay, basically in this fight, what you what you need to do in the beginning, is float around. I'm gonna be quiet. Before I see what is that? Ammonia. That shit will wake you back up. What do you hit me with? <laughs> His head. This is a penitentiary, son. That rep ain't gonna do shit but count somebody out, which means you got to knock that fucker on his ass. Yeah. You got one round. Fucker on his ass. Knock the fucker on his ass. All right. Basically, this uh, this fight's gonna be really easy, simple. Uh, you're gonna learn how to fight. Uh, oh yeah, in the beginning. Uh, I'm going to teach you the basics, you know, R1 is the block, this is the PS3, uh, L1 is kind of lean, what I would do the majority of the time is that I will, uh, that I will, uh, I will just, you know, lean a lot, oh, and then swing, swing is basically with the left stick, you know, you slide, okay, uh, basically straight is the left, you know, square X, you know, it's always simple buttons, but you know, I like using analog stick for body punches, you know, L1, the body punches like that, uh, but anyway, uh, basically you gotta knock the dude out, so. Yeah, you can hit, hold on R2, throw a your punches, like that right, right there, that's good, that right hook is gonna be my money maker, that, you know, those straight, those straight jabs, and, uh, the left straight, there you go, lean them. That's a counter. Okay, like that, like that lean, like that, like this lean right here. When he does that, that's a counter punch. Now it really wasn't on point. Like that, boom, and it went up. Like that, bow. There we go. That's it. Simple, real simple. Well, uh, in the beginning, you know, Andre Bishop. This is the Andre Bishop uh, in the welterweight, middleweight, one of the two. It's welterweight. He's 160, so he should be like, I think he should be middleweight. Uh, and this is really a very short, you know, story mode compared to most things, so it shouldn't take me no more than an hour to get this all done. As if I don't, you know, accidentally get knocked out, mainly by the final guy, Isaac Frost, you know. He isn't, he isn't hard, but you know, there are some times where he, you know, gets unbearably cheap, but you know, you take and learn, but you know, that's for later. But anyway, I'm be quiet to this cutscene because I really like the story. You look real good out there. We're really fucking impressed. Welcome to the real world, baby! <laughs> Nighty night, bitch. 
I don't want to die in prison. Easy, easy now, son. Don't try to talk. Just take it easy now. You're lucky they left you breathing. I wasn't always this lucky. This Cuban is no amateur. He could have turned pro years ago. He's been the amateur champ for nine years. Nine years! Are you gonna let him make it ten? That's right. That's why we're here. To get the gold medal. Now go get him, kid! All right, a quick uh, explanation on this fight. This fight's basically going to be about you getting punches landed, you know, try to outscore your opponent. If you're like, uh, you know, can knock him out, but I'll show you a nice way to knock this guy out, you know, make him look good your first time around. Uh, really, your first time through, you really are just trying to learn how to play the game, mainly, because when the game first starts up, normally it's going to see you through this, so. Uh, so, yeah. So let's get started on the fight. Uh, two minute rounds, not, not too long. Uh, you know that. You know I heard a lot of experts ringside talking about the lack of experience for Bishop compared to Savone. Of course, Savone's a nine-time champion. Okay. Lean. No. I like I like trying to mix it up with some body shots. Will Andre Bishop start to get to him? Will he be rattled against such a worthy opponent? Uh, really, really, uh, in pro, it's not going to be too hard. You know, it's basically when normal. When a right-handed fighter faces a southpaw like we see here tonight, Teddy, that right jab is uh, right it's all about. He is not in good shape. There you go, stunned him with that right. Mainly, Andre Bishop has some of the is one of the fastest hitters, and he has, in my opinion, some of the best flash knockouts. You know, best stuns in the game. Mainly that right hook. That right hook is going to be your main punch you're going to go to when you want to, you know, stun somebody and knock them down. Uh, like, like right here, that move right there is going to come, ooh, come later on for you in the game. Oh, okay, when you like, try to clinch, another thing you, you, you're going to try to learn, hopefully you can learn to do is clinch. You know, you hit L2. Okay. Try to, you know, lean a little bit. I try to, and his uppercuts are pretty good. So, very nice defensive guard there. Okay, Just lean a little bit. Try to get into him. Work him a little bit. See that right hook, mainly. Andre Bishop's right hook will get around somebody. Yeah, that's a double. I mean, I, we both hit each other, but he got more of the damage to counter punch. He could have counter punched me right there, but you know, this is an amateur. Now, that's a mistake you really don't want to make. You don't want to waste punches. That's another thing in this, in this game, and really throughout champion mode. When you get higher up there later in the game, you don't want to waste your punches against some of the opponents because you know it takes one good solid punch. Now I have a feeling I'm gonna get a nice good solid blow on. Now uh, Savone, he's like, like they said, he will react. He, he won't give you too many openings. I mean, it, it's all about. There we go, right there. To the opening, right there. When he loses, when he drops that guard like that, it might look like he's guarding, but he's really not completely guarding. He's mainly focused when he leaned. He was focusing on the body shot. Now, trying to counter that body shot. Yeah, he's most likely going. Early in the game, if you get two knockdowns, most likely they're not gonna get up. And in this game, automatic has the three knockdown TKO victories. 
you can already imagine what's going to be said about Andre Bishop as he launches his pro career ahead. And that's it. I mean, basically, you know, just float around, try to get his land as many right hooks as you can and get that straight jab working for you and you beat this guy. Easy. Now, I'm going to be quiet again, another cutscene, because I really enjoy these cutscenes in this game. They're really done well, in my opinion. It's very short, very short story. Really hate that, but you know, it's all good. It's terrific, honestly. It's terrific. Being voted fighter. Yeah, game, baby. It's an honor. <laughs> Gold medal, baby. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is my baby brother, my big baby brother, Ray. Hey, big baby Bishop. I'm a fighter too, and one day I'm gonna be right where he is now. <laughs> like I was saying, it's a lot of talented boxers out here, and it's an honor. Hey, to just be here. hey, Bishop brothers are in the house. Big baby Bishop. What? It was a fabulous tournament. Truly exciting to watch. But even more exciting, the Queen Promotions. Is pleased to announce that we've just added Isaac Frost to our roster of boxing talent. Isaac, are you disappointed that Andre Bishop won Fighter of the Games? Disappointed? <laughs> I'm the heavyweight gold medalist. No one went the distance with me. Nobody here could ever go the distance with me. I am the best fighter in these games. Period. Andre Bishop is a talented middleweight, but I, I think. Uh, Isaac makes a good point. Regardless, both these young men could have very bright futures in professional boxing. Okay, uh, this is the sparring part. Okay, what you're supposed to do is knock this guy out. Uh, real simple, you know, that right hook. I'll start off with a couple of cuts right here, you know, lean a little bit. The bait. Try to get a couple body shots in. Him. Start up there, there straight. Oh, there we go. You know, hit L2 to you know back him off me. There we go. I was gonna get it sooner or later. The most likely that uppercut. Mainly when they clinch, the the punch to look for is that uppercut. Right after they come out that clinch, you know, you push off with L2 and I reckon and flip down on the right hand lock stick. And boom, you get yourself a nice quick uppercut. They're wide open, they're still pretty much stunned if you can get them off quick enough, and yeah, you get a nice quick knockout. You okay? Beautiful kid! You got your father's power! He certainly does. His father hit like a heavyweight, too. Gus, despite our differences, I've always said you're one of the best trainers in the business. I don't care what you say about me, Queen. Always nice to see you, Megan. Always nice to see you too, Gus. I'm bringing my daughter into the business. You know how good she is with fighters. I want her to manage Andre. You're a great trainer. Why not concentrate on what you do best and let Megan and I concentrate on Andre's career? Thanks, but I think I can handle it. Isaac Frost will be fighting for a title within two years. I can do that for you, too. Thanks, but I can handle it. Did this old man ever get your father a title shot? He was on his way! The only way that the title is through me. Not if nobody can beat me. Oh, you think so? You don't know who you're fucking with. Dad! You've been listening to this stupid old man! Dad! You don't know who you're fucking with! I apologize. No, you have no reason to apologize. But your father, on the other hand, he chews fighters up and he spits them out. Gus, if we just... Megan, you were good, eh? But no way are we getting in bed with D.L. McQueen. I respect your decision. Lucius Palmer likes to run, but he'll get aggressive at the end of each round. He's good at stealing fights. Good luck, Andre. Thanks, Megan. Thanks, Megan. She's right about Pauly. She's a smart girl, Megan. Okay. Uh, Lucius Fox. Uh, yes, he does like to run, but you know the best thing about that is well, this is actually my favorite. Running up and attacking him, just go eight crap on him. I mean, he most likely he'll throw a few punches, but you know, not too much to worry about. You know, run at him, keep make sure. But if you know, if you see getting a little 
Uh, mainly when he does attack is when your stamina is low. That's where he gets his little knockouts from. But you know, if you manage your stamina, you should be fine. Uh, and another thing, thumbs up if you want to smash. Morgan. I'm, wait a minute. Wait, dang, I forgot her name. Oh my god. I didn't her name. I'm totally busy. Worried about business, not, not pussy. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside my ring.